love is the only thing I know Ay, When it's black rain, then you know it's gon' pour huh? Running up the score is the only thing I know huh? If I need a comeback, I'm clutching a fork And I'm getting sticky with the stick work too Ay, It's already over if I kick first Ooh, huh? Top 100, they can get work too Ay, First in the world, and it's got me in a mood Okay, 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 okay. If you watch yesterday's video, y'all seen my new team, right? Y'all seen me get whooped, right? Today we got Jalen Hurts. Found a way to get some training. Um, got so many uh, unopened packs, and I just went and opened them and just quick sold them for training. I didn't know that's how you do it, but that's what you got to do. You got to sell players for training. We got Jalen Hurts, right hand quarterback. Uh, we have Gunslinger, High Run Master, Gift Wrapped, Identifier. 97 speed Tyreek, 97 speed Darius Haber Bay, 96 speed Stephon Diggs. Y'all hear some funny noises? My dog's in here. Um, just man, he he's in here. He chilling. Um, but yeah, defensively, solid squad. Um, I'm just really just ready to play. Honestly, I don't even want to talk to y'all about. I'm ready to play. Like that's there's nothing left to it. Let's let's get into a game. Um, my biggest thing, I've, I've been told y'all this from the beginning, I just hate playing with left-handed quarterbacks. And, um, oh, fuck, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad I just thought about it. I knew it was something else I needed to change. I knew it was something else. I need to get off of um, whatever that passing shit is. Freeform. I don't I don't like the freeform. I like to be on classic. So, I'm glad I just thought about that. Let's go. I think it's settings. I think it's player skill, maybe? No. Um, maybe it's just game options. Maybe up yep, placement accuracy. I don't like that. Like that's there's more placement power, placement accuracy. Nah, that's just too much. Let's get on classic and just just rock out, man. I don't like all that 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 hoorah bullshit. Let's just regular passing and just damn bro, just pass the ball. Head over to your App Store or Google Play and download the best way to play fantasy prize picks. Use code RAIN4 to get a 100% discount code up to $100. It's pretty simple. Pick two or more players from the board, choose over or under their projected stat line for the day, and choose which way you want to profit. With Flex Play, you can miss one and still win, or you can go big with the power play to win more. Prize Picks offers every sport you can think of from NBA to NFL to even college sports as well. Prize Picks has a ton of stats to choose from, including three pointers made, rebounds, assists, even the touchdowns, RBIs, and home runs. Prize Picks also allows mixed sports entries. Like you can take the over on LeBron's points and the under on Mahomes' touchdowns on the same entry. There's also many celebrities who use and partner with Prize Picks, including Famous Lowe's, Matt Ryan, John Collins, and many more. In 2021, Prize Picks had 300,000 new members and paid out over $130 million in prizes. With the easy withdrawal system, Prize Picks is the best legal way to play player props. Once again, go to your App Store or Google Play and download Prize Picks. And don't forget to use code RAIN4 for a 100% deposit match up to $100. All right, if we actually take a look at it, I really didn't get destroyed yesterday. Oh, he got Bo Jackson at safety. <laughs> I really didn't get destroyed yesterday, but like that's how I, I just got to, you know what I'm saying? I'm learning. Well, I ain't learning. I'm, I'm just... I'm getting to it now. I'm realizing that it's just about how you title these videos. So um, I'm gonna get some. Hey, bro, don't be clickbaiting down below in the comments. But I don't care, bro. I really don't care no more. Um, you know, it's about views. It's about likes. It's about comments. So do me a favor, man. Smash the like button. Comment down below. Um, and if you're new, hit that sub button. But yeah, man, it's about views, likes, and comments on 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 YouTube. And um, just realizing that it's it's. Don't worry about it, bro. It's the next day, regardless of whatever happens, the video will be out tomorrow as well. So, um, I used to be like, you know what? Let's not try to, you know what I'm saying, make the title weird so that people think you're clickbaiting. But I don't care what y'all think now about the title. You know what I'm saying? Honestly. Honestly. So, if I say I got destroyed and I only got beat by eight, whatever. You feel me? If it, if it made you come and watch the video, then bam. Deep out zone, okay, yo. If it made you stop by to watch the video, then bam. It's exactly what I meant to do. 
Okay, Drippy Crippy Carlo. All right. Um, I honestly hate this defense. Close the D line and slant them inside, and I got two guys in my face. I honestly hate this defense. Um, let's see. What is what is he got? Pick RT by zone KO. Deep zone KO. Lurk artist. Pick artist. Lurk artist. Deep out zone KO. Gotcha. With a pass commit right there. Solid defense. Great defense right there by him. Um, hmm. This is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. Just because I just I mean I tell I tell you this all the time. It's really not not about what the defense is doing. It's just like can we get this shit blocked up? It's the only thing that I ever worry about. Only thing I ever worry about. Like can we block this shit up? What do I have to do to block this shit up? Let's see something. Cool. Cool. Like, if we can just block the shit up, I know for a fact I can find a read, bro. Like, it's not that damn hard. Great ball. Great read. I it's not that damn hard to really, like, to do this shit. It's not hard. It just gotta be. It just gotta be done. Oh, deep outside zone KO, and he threw it bad. Why would he throw it like that? It's almost like he didn't. It's almost like Gunslinger didn't work or something like that. But I threw it too early anyway. I, I, I agree to that. I threw that way too early. Did I have blitz in my face or anything? I'm trying to figure out why I threw that so early. Trying to figure out why I threw that so early. I just, why did why did I why would I and I know the RPO is coming. I know the RPO is coming. I'm not worried about the garage on the left side really. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. This shit is crazy. He's doing he's he just ran the same two plays I just ran. The only difference is he just juked my whole damn team. It's the only difference. If you realize, if you really take a look at it, I just ran the same two plates. RPO here, RPO there. Only difference. He juked my whole entire team. It's not even like he got... It's not even like he got jukebox or nothing. That's what kills me this year, though. Like, you don't need abilities to, like... It's, it's almost pointless to have jukebox because, like... You wasting abilities because you really don't need jukebox to actually juke somebody this year. That's what's that's what's crazy about it. You don't need jukebox to actually juke somebody this year. It's kind of frustrating, honestly. Um, and I do understand. I need to start past uh, running the ball more. Great catch. See, I waited. That was perfect. Why did I? I don't know why last time I waited so long. This ain't gonna be good because that guy right in front of him with base when I run out there to the flat. But you know, if we could block him, you know, the only guy in the flat that should be getting blocked. If we could block him, then we would, we would be okay. But the only guy that's playing the flat, the only guy, is playing the flat. We didn't, we didn't block him. The only guy that's playing the flat. The only guy that's playing the flat and he doesn't get blocked. It's just super amazing to me. The only guy that played the flat don't get blocked. It really wasn't going to matter if there was a good pass or not because deep outside zone KO over there was definitely going to snap down on that. 
I got to get into running the ball more. I definitely got to start running the ball more. They didn't let me get that. They usually let you get that right there. They didn't let me get that at all. Mm. <sighs> Deep outside zone KO. What does he have? Gift wrap set for lead. See, that's what we. Bro, I, I'm I'm done with this game. Man has fucking William Perry at fucking. Oh my god, go route is wide open by the tight end. Dude has William Perry at quarterback. This is this is new to me. This is really why I don't like Mutt. I forgot William Perry at quarterback. With Gunslinger, Gift Rep, Titan Apprentice, Slot Apprentice. Wow. Man got Refrigerator Perry at fucking. And I guarantee he's like fast as fuck. I guarantee he is. Like I just I just guarantee he is. 95 96 speed. Like, yo, come on, bro. Like, like I'm just done with mud, bro. This is just so dumb. 6'2, 335 pounds in here, 96 speed. With trust. Like, come on, bro. Like, what what type of game are we playing, bro? 97 speed Dre Archer. Okay, 97 Tyreek. 97 Hayward Bay. Okay. Dude don't dude dude has a, a great team. But bro, not like what's like what's th th this has to be the best quarterback ever with gunslinger and set feet lead. This just got to be the best quarterback on the game. Sometimes I, I, I honestly feel like sometimes I honestly like really ask myself like yo why do you why do you for real play this game? Well, not even this game. Why do you for real play mud? And it's because it's for inter it's really for entertainment. It's really what y'all like. I mean I don't know. This I guess it's what the majority of the world likes. But a six foot two, three hundred thirty-five pound quarterback with ninety-six speed, with gunslinger and Sefi Lee, just really does not make sense at all. It don't. You just gave this man Lamar Jackson's. You just gave this man Lamar Jackson's. <sighs> Lamar Jackson's numbers and shit with with offense lineman's body. That was a horrible read. That was horrible. Great ball. That was a great ball. So man to man, he's gonna run. Um, he's gonna pass the ball in that virtual zone. He's gonna RPO it. It's actually pretty smart. It's pretty smart. But I'm still, I'm really, I'm really sitting here playing against Refrigerator Perry at quarterback. 95 overall, 95 overall, 96 speed, a 96. Speed. I'm really sitting here playing against a 96 speed quarterback. That's 335 pounds. This shit cannot be made up. <sighs> the, so the problem is, there's only one problem. It's that flat defender right there. He's on like zero or some shit. He got flats on zero with that guy. He's the only. I mean, the, the deeper outside on KO two is a problem, but this is bad. This is bad. It's to the point where I really don't know what to run. I have no clue what to run right now. This is this is crazy. Flats on zero. Uh, this is. I can't run. A, I should not be trying to run a corner route. Should not be trying to run a corner route. <sighs> oh. I already paused the game, so I can't quit. I'm trying to. I'm trying to quit so bad. Hmm. This ain't. This ain't sitting right. This ain't sitting right. 
This is this is this is this is weird. <sighs> okay, um <sighs> All right. Th that was only my third game with this team. It's not the team, trust me, it's not the team. It's, it's honestly me. It's it's me. But man, when I'm just so used to playing regs and then I come out here and see all these all these different abilities and players, it's crazy to just think about, bro. Oh man. Mud is a mud is a different world. Like and I'm not saying it as far as like comp wise, like like it's not it's not about individual player, like yo. Mud players are better than regs players. You can't say that because you can put somebody who's good at mutt in regs and he won't be good. So you can't do it by player wise. You got to do it by like game mode wise. I think mutt is harder to play game mode wise than regs because like if 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 you're not used to mutt. How about that? If you're not used to mutt. And you're a rigs player, and you go play mutt. It's gonna be difficult because it's just so much shit. It's so much shit out there, bro, that you gotta account for that you usually don't have to account for in rigs. Put it like that. Put it like that. It's not player wise. It's not uh, the mutt players are just so much better because you can really put these same players in, in rigs. They will have no clue what to do. Cause you sitting here with two deep outside zone KOs, you got which which is really what it is because corner routes is, is really like super OP. But then when you got deep by side zone KOs, the corner routes mean nothing. Corner routes mean nothing to a deep by side zone KO. So let's see, man. Let's see. This so this is his Super Bowl. Looks like he might be in Cover two. I know he's in cover two. What does that right safety have? Deep route KO. That's on me. Ah, he's in a deep third. Instead of, I thought he was just in a regular hook. He's in a deep third. And I didn't even wait long enough to see what he was actually in. Then once again, I forgot this is Mutt. Linebackers are not moving that fast in, in rigs, but you know, this is uh, this is mud. This is mud. Mm, we need that pick. We need that pick right there, my guy. That's a great read. <clears throat> That's a great read right there. Great defense. Great defense right there. I know this is funny, but I'm not expecting him to just be able to get the ball out before I can. Bro, listen. Listen, bro. It's just a. He just thrown it to the fucking running back. So do I gotta play the running back? Yo, do I have do I not have deep outside zone KO? On you, Calvin. Like what are you what are you doing? Like really? Oh, so we, oh, okay, so I need to contain now. Okay, I need to just keep doing what I'm doing to contain. Cool. Just contain now. 
Cool beans. Cool beans. I just need to contain now. Cool beans. Cool. Cool beans, man. Cool, cool beans. Coolio Fulio. Cool. I see he's on Julius Pepper. He just put Julius Peppers in a deep. Can't be a legal man downfield, right? It's a fucking RPO, man. It's a run pass option. It ain't, did we really get that far down the field? Wow. Good read. <sighs> good read, good read, good read. What does D-line got? Defensive rally. Inside stuff. Inside stuff. Ripper. Flat zone KO. Like, this shit is just... This shit is crazy. And I always compare this shit to Riggs because that's what it should be compared to. Rick, like, who who in Riggs got two inside stuff on the, on the D-line? Who got a medium, medium route KO, flat zone KO, lurk art? Like, this shit is... It's crazy. Shit is crazy. I don't even know why I'm fighting cuz if I if I fumble I'll be pissed. Y'all think he put just put Josh Allen in the deep right there? Of course he did. It just takes so long to see because he'll be backpedaling, backpedaling. Then soon you're like, okay, he's right past him. I'm ready to throw it now. He just finally flips his hips. <clears throat> he put him in a deep again, huh? Yep. Even in the red zone, he makes that adjustment. That's interesting. He's just still covered. That should have been picked off. I wonder why, like, my guy goes and blocks the safety instead of going and block a guy that, you know what I'm saying? I just realized that I got Derrick Henry who's lit the fuck up and I'm sitting here throwing RPOs and shit. But he do got two inside stuffs, so. Can we get him blocked up out there, please? Oh, he's on the corner. Wow, he's waiting on it. That was a great defense. He's on the he's on the corner waiting on the RPO. There's no way I can't run this ball, bro. There's just no way. Wow. Wow. And he has and I think that corner has flat zone KO. He really should have picked that. Yeah, he really should have picked that, honestly. Let's fucking go, man. Jesus. I'm surprised he didn't run commit. I think in that situation, I probably, I probably would have ran commit right there. I probably would have ran commit. But throwing that RPO with a flat zone KO right there is disgusting. That probably that should have been picked off or at least knocked out. I don't try to get on here and make excuses, but mud is not. It, mud is definitely not something you can just jump on here and just and just 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 try to be the best at, or, or just try to not even be the best, but like, just try to like. Compete with it's nothing to just hop on here. I think you just finna just just play, and that's what I do. I hop on here and be like, yeah, I'm finna just fuck it, just run this shit. <laughs> fuck it, let's just run it. Gunslinger dash it that uh No, I got deep outside zone KO. Hayward base probably his Hayward base probably 96, 97 speed, while my Calvin Johnson's 94 speed, so. A deep outside zone KO means nothing if you're not close enough to knock the ball out. Oh my fucking god. So it looks like I'm gonna have to just throw RPOs and shit, honestly. Um he just sitting in cover two and just putting that guy in the deep middle. Nice ball. Nice ball, nice catch. Cover three now. Um, 
no deep outside zone KO, so we're kind of chilling. Like think, like look at that from from the last game I just played. That cornerback would have snapped down on that and knocked that bitch out last time. But since he don't have a deep outside zone KO, then like I don't have to work. I like I can throw it. Like you can't tell me this game is not ability based. And what better? What other mode is more ability based than than mutt? There isn't one. This is the most ability based mode there there is. Like. That's what mud is. Mud is Madden Ultimate Team is a, like it just screams abilities. Nice blocking, fellas. Nice blocking. It's a nice read. That's a nice read. I want to see something. Nice knockout. I have two fucking middle. I, I know I have two middle thirds out there, but they're going to play them at different depths, though. That's what I'm trying to get them to do. Like, I want one to, like, one's going to get back there faster and deeper than the other one is. And that's, I mean, that's what I'm trying to, trying to get them to do. Thank you. Like, thank you. I don't know why we're getting beat off the line of scrimmage like that, honestly. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Who is 17? Because I know that, I know that's route, I know that route's coming. That's why I'm trying to put the middle third right there. But okay, how about we just man them up? Wow, is my D line like non existent or something? Fuck y'all that. Great tackle. Great tackle, man. Great tackles, fellas. Angle route should be open. Because he's leaving the middle. I threw it too late. Um, I don't know. I feel like this is a great defense for... for I feel like this cover two is just great defense for... You gonna put him in the middle, you got outside zones. I don't know. I just feel like it's okay. I like this right here. No, oh, this shit is crazy. Goddamn, I'm out here playing against fucking superheroes and shit. Some motherfucker six foot thirteen. It was great. It did. What I drew up was great. I just got to wait a little bit longer to throw it, maybe, or whatever the case may be, because, like I said, we're out here playing against fucking superheroes and shit, so. Shit is crazy. Hey, I don't know if it was throwing up to me or what. I'm just really not understanding what my deep outside zone KO is is, is doing. Cause y'all just seen me play against deep outside zone KO and y'all seen what it was doing. Like he was out there like just breaking down, like flipping his hips on everything. But now my shits wanna now my shits don't wanna man, tighten up now. I'm run committing. I don't care what nobody say. He's running this ball. Good shit. Good shit. So last time on five out, right? I understand what he's doing on defense. Cover two, middle linebacker in a deep, right? So what I'm thinking is if I put a vertical right there, the middle linebacker's gonna take the vertical. 
I put a drag, I see who he's using. If I put a drag right there, he's gonna put a drag, and if I put the post, the middle of the field is wide open. But I did not account for the hook player being able to play that post, which is um Julius Peppers. You feel me? I did not expect Julius Peppers to be able to play that post right there. You know, but I see he is. But I see he can play that shit. Oh man. Nice juke. Nice juke. Put me in field goal range, honestly. That's what I needed. The safe and the safeties are so wide in this shit that they like safety is so wide in this shit that you don't need deep by side zone KO. Cause the safeties are so wide. Shit is crazy. Can't take a sack here. I need to just go ahead and kick my three now. I mean that's the smartest move to do. Just go ahead and take my three now. No timeouts. Take my three points while I can. And just like I was saying, the juke move is so OP. Like I ain't got juke box or nothing on on Jalen Hurston. He just he just saved me right there by just juking that opponent and just and being able to just get out of bounds right there. The call timeout. He really just saved me. So what he's in is like this this big nickel over G. I think. Nah. He ain't in big. He in something. Oh my God! Why was that right, bro? Bro, why did my right safety just do that? Why was he not in a deep half? Oh my god. I was trying to put somebody else in a zone. I was trying to put the right outside guy in a zone, bro. And I ended up clicking on the safety. And putting this man in a fucking hook. Eight seconds and I just gave up three points. Uh, I'm gonna ask for that. So I can't remember. I think I don't think he liked this defense right here. Um, he don't like to contain. Oh my God, Hamilton! Why would you stop coming down though? You was you was there. Why did you stop coming down? I don't even think Hamilton's supposed to be in my game. Honestly, I think it's supposed to be Rizul Douglas. Like, not even joking. Wow. So that's the read. The running back is the read. His go route is screaming wide open. And I think he just seen it. His go route was screaming. We're going man to man now. Great defense. I think he was throwing his go route again. I think he's going to throw the go route again. No way you catch that. No fucking way. No way that's the read. Um, I think this is what I want to be in. I think so. <laughs> really? That's a great read, bro. Was that a running back wheel route, but from there? Was that a running back wheel route, but from there? Great defense. I don't know what that... I think it was running back wheel route, and then he motioned him out, and he ran a wheel route out there. I don't know. I 
I might have doing random ass adjustments, bro. If you're gonna shoot the gap, you you might as well like if, if you if you gonna shoot the gap and not make the tackle, you might as well like just not even shoot the gap, bro. Like dead ass. If if you're not even gonna make the tackle, then why are you even like you should just sit back. Bro, I might run stretch every fucking play on this dude. Just just for the fun of it. Like just I really might run stretch every fucking play. Cause he's pass he's pass committing. He like he every play he's pass committing. Which I really don't understand how I'm not getting more yards because he's pass committing, but that corner over there, that left corner has nothing either. I should be getting way more yards because you can just tell he's pass committing. I should be getting way more. This gotta be man. Um, who the fuck is Pen? I don't even know who Pen is, but he just a big. F who the? F anyway, I, I I I have no clue. Anyway, bro. Anyway, y'all know when I see fat people, they I don't think they should be running this damn fast. But hell, this motherfucker's running that damn fast. I, I don't know, man. <clears throat> I remember somebody was running this shit on me, and it was so hard to stop. The tight end vertical play out of the single back, I couldn't. I couldn't figure out how to how to stop it. This man made me switch up my whole damn offense because of that stupid ass cover too. I think this dude would be better on defense if he had if he had like abilities. I don't know, but I guess he got, he got run abilities too, two inside stuffs, um, shit like that. But if he had like some deep outside zone KOs, or, or he got flat zone, if he, yeah, if he had deep outside zone KOs on his uh, safeties, he would be chilling, I feel like. <clears throat> That's terrible. I don't like that read. No way you just try to cross body that. No way. That's a great read. <laughs> ah, that's funny. That is funny. Great defense. Great defense. Uh oh. Tight end attack, what I meant. What did I say tight end attack? Or what did I, I don't know what I, I said tight end something. I think I said tight end vertical. Tight end attack. Somebody would run this shit on me and I just could not figure it out. Oh, that was risky. I think I had my mind set on throwing it to the running back regardless. I didn't like his route. Great read. This might be <laughs> this might be my new offense. With the stretch. I need to put the stretch in my audibles. Yeah, this might be my new offense for real, bro. For people that, that got good pass defense. Not even joking. If you got good pass defense, bro, you gotta see me under center. Dead ass. If you got good pass defense, you about to see me under center. Dead ass. I ain't even finna play around with you. Tight end attack your ass all the way down the field with stretch and then head back dive. I ain't even. I ain't got time to play with you, dog. I ain't got time. It's especially in mud though, where like you know you usually put tight ends in the game and you giving up speed advantages and route running. Nah, and you put tight ends in the game and you 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 still running with the same damn speed. Oh my god. Lurk artist. Lurk artist. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you thought this was. We had a rage quit early though, but I mean, shit. We bounced back like Jordan did with two, three, and four, five. You feel me? Hey, Blair Wayne. Oh, yeah.